Hi, Daniel Hayes here, Hayes Winkle Agent, going to talk about, um, you know, internet online versus print media again, because it's such, and I come from a perspective, uh, uh, the perspective as a business owner, and we're moving into, um, you know, tough times, I think, in real estate, that's just my view, and um, some people say, you know, tough times create tough agents, I totally agree with that, and um, I'm looking forward to it, because it gets to sort out you know, the people that think real estate's all about driving around in a European car, sucking on a latte with your Prada sunglasses on. Um, you know, it's certainly not that. So that'll certainly clean out. I think the landscape of Geelong real estate will look very differently in 12 months' time. That's just my prediction. Um, but the battle, you know, getting ready, if, if, if it is tough times in Australia or in Geelong in regards to the real estate market, which I think it's going to be, it's happening now, and, um, you know, any, anyone out there in the Geelong marketplace that, that's spruiking to vendors that it's the best market we've been in, um, you know, good luck with that mantra. Um, it certainly isn't mine. Um, certainly a changing market. They're my indicators. And, um, you know, cut, cost cutting, you know, looking at uh, print media, looking at do I need to carry that massive amount of debt? Um, do I need to do it? And, uh, you know, I'm really ambivalent. I'm still really on the fence. Um, with am I the first one to jump that just says you know what I'm just going to do online I'm just going to do online you know I'm going to sell campaigns $995 which includes your board internet feature property forever and that's all I sell and we just do our open times from there that would drop my running costs of a business dramatically I wouldn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars out um, and you know that would actually transform my business if I jump do other people follow um, because I just know there's some top agents out there that, that don't sell any VPA at all. And, um, you know, the bad thing about that is, is do I kill my brand as a result of it? You know, I'm not in the, the Geelong Eddy anymore. Um, you know, so it's a really tough call to make. Um, you know... I've always felt this way that here I am selling a product on behalf of someone else that I get nothing for. Um, I think that's flawed. I'm not on the News Limited payroll and I think with the, the amount of upselling that, that, that my company does in the amount of VPA that we sell, we should be getting some sort of award every year um, for what we've done. But, you know, maybe if, if the front runners step out of it, then I think generally people tend to follow. So um, I'm unsure with what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do my own analysis. I'm not going to listen to someone that thinks they know what they're talking about. I really only like to listen to people that are actually doing it themselves, that, that, have, that have their own money on the line. Because here's the difference. Because um, I don't get it right. My guys don't get it right. It's not like we can kick back, come 4 o'clock and clock off and get paid. We have to go out there and get the money. We have to go and make the money. We have to make sales to get the commission. So, you know, there's lots of um, variables in a real estate agent's life. Um, th th there's lots of variables as a business owner. There's lots of variables as a sales consultant. Um, you know, and we re really have to, this is a big decision I'm grappling with. And, um, you know, I'm not scared to take risks. I'm not scared to make big decisions. But, um, you know, I need to position myself um, for what's ahead and, and to, to get ready for that. So, you know, lots of thought at the moment, no impulsive decisions, just sitting. Sometimes I find for me, if I just sit and wait, the answer comes, the right decision comes. So, um, you know, at this point, maybe I just sit on my hands and, 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 and wait a little bit and see what happens, see what pans out. Report card this month, so far eight sales. 21 listings, we're listing fine. I'm telling you right now, this isn't a market where you can gloat about how many you can list. It's gonna be about a market where you should be gloating about how many you can sell. Um, so, um, you know, we're at a target of 45 this month. We're only at eight. At this point, we're gonna end up selling 32. I've got a feeling I'm gonna have a really good selling week. And, um, you know, it's, um, you know, we've got to. We've got to sell property. That's what makes my world go around, selling homes. So that's it for today, thanks.